Are you guys confused about which speedster to pick or to buy in 2024 that are in meta and which can carry the entire game? Don't worry, in this video, I will show you top 10 best speedster. Wait a minute! Just kidding guys, I know that right now there are only 8 speedsters in Pokemon Unite. I named this video top 10 best speedster because if I name it top 8 best speedster it would sound little bit weird. Anyways, in this video I will show you top 8 best speedster from bottom to top that are in meta and which can carry the entire game. So that you don't have to waste your coin on wrong speedster. Not only that, I will also show you their best build, battle item, boost emblem and with some tips and tricks. By the way, every week i upload a guide video on pokemon unite so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more this type of unite content now without wasting any time let's begin the video in the number 8, we have the Eagle Eye Teloplem. Teloplem is one of the speedsters which has really good mobility and the damage of Teloplem is also quite good. Because of his blink ability, he can easily go in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and take down the damage dealer. Even in the early game, Teloplem can deal decent amount of damage. Because of this, he can dominate the early game very effectively. And the jungling speed of the Teloplem is also quite good. Moreover, because of his blink ability, he can rotate the lane really fast. One thing I love most about the Teloplem is his Unite move. With his Unite move, he can literally join away the whole team of the enemy. This is why the Unite move of the Teloplem is really useful in the final stretch. Moreover, the Unite move of Teloplem has very low cooldown. You can charge his Unite move in no time. Because of this, you can use his Unite move in every team fight. And to master Teloplem is quite easy. You don't need lots of practice to master him properly. Because Teloplem is beginner friendly and easy to master. About the best moveset for Teloplem? Well, all the moveset of Teloplem are good. It depends upon your playstyle. But you must use Brave Bird with Aerial S and Flame Charge with Fly. For the battle item, you can either use Eject Button or Seed Ninja Doll. And there are some people as well who also uses Golgather on Teloplem. And here's the build for Teloplem. And this is the boost emblem. You can take a screenshot if you want. In the number 7, we have the green kitty Lepion. Lepion is one of the speedsters which deal massive amount of brush damage. The brush damage of the Lepion is so high that he can literally do one shot to the squishy Pokemon. That is why before getting nerfed, Lepion was one of the most deadly Pokemon among all the other speedsters. But still, even after getting nerfed, Lepion is a quite good Pokemon. Lepion has the damage and the mobility. Because of this, he can easily go in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and take down the damage deal. The power spike of the Lepion comes when he reaches only level 7. Because of this, he can dominate the early game very effectively. And even in the late game, he can deal decent amount of damage. One thing I love most about the Lepion is his Unite move. He unlocks his Unite move in just level 8. Because of this, in the early game, Lepion has a huge advantage. And the cooldown of the Unite move of Lepion has really low cooldown. That is the reason why he can snowball throughout the entire game with his Unite move. And if you are playing Lepion, you should definitely play a little bit aggressive in the early game because Lepion unlocks his moveset way faster than other Pokemon. About the best moveset for Lepion, well, all the moveset of Lepion are good. You can either use Razor Leap with Leap Blade or you can also use Solar Blade with Leap Blade. And here's the build for Lepion. For the battle item, always take Eject Button. And here's the boost emblem for Lepion. You can take screenshot if you want. In the number 6, we have the ostrich guy Dodrio. Dodrio is one of the Pokemon which has the highest amount of movement speed in Pokemon Unite. Because of this, it is super hard to catch Dodrio unless you have a stun Pokemon. And Dodrio has the ability to go easily in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and take down the damage dealer. And the brush damage of the Dodrio is also quite good. He can literally do one shot to the squishy Pokemon. This is the reason why Dodrio is also being picked in the professional tournament. Because of his good agility, he is really useful to take down the damage dealer of opposing Pokemon. The only problem with the Dodrio is the stun Pokemon. If Dodrio get any kind of stun and his movement speed get lower, he become quite useless because Dodrio can use his boosted moveset only if his sprint gauge is fully charged. And even if you stop for a few seconds, the sprint gauge of Dodrio rapidly decreases. This is why it is quite hard to master Dodrio. And if you are new in Pokemon Unite, I won't suggest you to 
to play Dodrio because you need lots of practice to master him properly. And if you don't master him properly, Dodrio becomes super super weak Pokemon. About the best moveset for Dodrio, well all the moveset of Dodrio are good, but I personally prepare Drill Fig and Jump Kick. And here's the build for Dodrio. For the battle item, always take Full Heal so that you can immune any stun effect. And here's the boost emblem for Dodrio. You can take a screenshot if you want. In the number 5, we have the Electro Guy Jiraura. Jiraura is one of the Pokemon which has the agility and great damage. He deals massive amount of damage from his moveset. Jiraura is one of the Pokemon which has the potential to do 1v2 or 1v3 very easily. Because of his good damage and agility, like any other speedster, Jiraura can also go in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and take down the damage dealer. And the early game potential of Jiraura is also quite good because Jiraura has the ability to clear the jungle really fast and if in the early game Jiraura gets proper amount of farm he literally become unstoppable he can dominate the early game and mid game very effectively this is why if you know how to play Jiraura you should definitely use him in rank Jiraura is really useful to rank up faster and Jiraura is beginner friendly and easy to master you don't need lots of practice to master him properly if you are new in Pokemon Unite and looking for a strong speedster you should definitely consider playing Jiraura in rank I have been playing Jiraura for quite long time in master rank and I 100% confirm that Jiraura is super strong Pokemon, especially in the solo ranking. About the best moveset for Jiraura, well all the moveset of Jiraura are good but I personally prepare Spark and Discharge. And here's the build for Jiraura. For the battle item you can either take X attack or eject button but there are some player as well who also uses potion on Jiraura. And here's the boost emblem for Jiraura. You can take screenshot if you want. In the number 4 we have the red guy Zorark. Zorark is one of the Pokemon which has the highest amount of mobility in Pokemon Unite. Because of his unique moveset, Zorark can easily dive in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and kill the damage dealer. And the rotation done by the Zorark is super super fast. Because of his unique moveset, Zorark can rotate from top lane to bottom lane in no time. And the power spike of Zorark comes when he reaches only level 5. Because of that, Zorark can dominate the early game very effectively. And the Jungling speed of Jorark is also quite good. That is the reason why Jorark is even peak in the professional tournaments. Professional players like Overlord has shown the full potential of Jorark in the World Championship of Pokemon Unite. And if you are new in Pokemon Unite, I won't suggest you to play Jorark because Jorark is super hard to master. You need lots of practice to master him properly because Jorark has very unique moveset in compared to other Pokemon. The only problem with the Jorark is the stun Pokemon. If Jorark get any kind kind of stun, it is super hard to fully charge his moveset. That is the reason why, whenever you play Zorark, you should always take full heal so you can defy the stun effect of opposing Pokemon and fully charge your moveset. About the best moveset for Jiraura, well all the moveset of Jiraura are good, but I personally prepare Paint Attack with Shadow Claw. With these two movesets, you get very high mobility. And here's the build for Zorark. And this is the boost emblem. You can take screenshot if you want. In the number 3, we have the cool guy Epsol. Epsol is the true definition of one shot Pokemon. He can literally do one shot to the squishy Pokemon. The damage of the Epsol is so brutal that he can even penetrate through the defense of Defender and Supporter. That is why Epsol is counted as one of the most deadliest Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. Not only that, the mobility of the Epsol is also quite good. Because of that, he can easily go in the backline of the opposing Pokemon and take down the damage dealer. The power spike of the Epsol Epsol come when he reaches level 7. That's why I would like to suggest you that whenever you play Epsol, you should always try to go in the jungle so you can level up faster. But even in level 5, Epsol can deal decent amount of damage. And when Epsol reaches level 7, he is totally a beast. You should definitely play very aggressively after reaching level 7 because most of the defender and supporter does not have enough defense to sustain the damage of Epsol. And moreover, to master Epsol is quite easy. 
you don't need lots of practice to master him properly. About the best moveset for Epsol, well all the moveset of Epsol are good, but I personally prefer Night Slash with Psycho Cut, because with these two moveset you can literally do one shot to the squishy Pokemon. And here's the build for Epsol, reminder this build is for Night Slash and Psycho Cut. For the battle item always take eject button. And here's the boost emblem for Epsol, you can take a screenshot if you want. In the number 2, we have the ghost boy Gengar. Gengar is also one of the true definition of one shot damage dealer Pokemon. He can literally do one shot to the squishy Pokemon. The damage of the Gengar is so high that he can even penetrate through the defense of defender and supporter. That is the reason why. Gengar is also being counted in the most deadliest Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. Gengar is truly a nightmare for the backline Pokemon. Because once Gengar catches the damage dealer Pokemon, he can kill them instantly in just a few seconds and the power spike of Gengar come when he reaches level 7 that's why I would like to suggest you that that's why I would like to suggest you that in the early game you should go in the jungle so you can level up faster and when you reach level 7 you should definitely play a little bit aggressive because the early game damage of Gengar is super high one thing I love most about the Gengar is his unite move we all know that with his unite move Gengar can disappear that is the reason why his unite move is very useful in the final stretch he can easily go in the backline of the opposing pokemon and take down the damage dealer this is why even if you are losing in the early game you have the chance to come back in the final stretch about the best moveset for Gengar, well it's definitely Dream Eater and Shadow Ball. And here's the build for Gengar. For the battle item always take eject button. And this is the boost emblem for Gengar. In the number 1, we have none other than Meowskarada. Meowskarada totally deserved to be in the number 1. She is one of the Pokemon which deals insane amount of damage from her basic attack. With her basic attack, she can literally kill the squishy Pokemon in just 2 or 3 hits. Right now, Meowskarada is totally broken, especially in the solo ranking. Because in the solo ranking, you need a Pokemon who is strong in the early game, in the mid game, and as well as in the final stretch. And Meowskarada totally complete this list. And I guarantee you, if you know how to play Meowskarada properly, it will definitely help you to rank up faster, especially in the solo ranking. One thing I love most about the Meowskarada is her passive ability called Overgrow. This passive get activated when her HP drops below 50%. And when this passive is activated, her damage and healing is increased by 20%. That is the reason why it is super hard to kill Meowskarada in the early game. And the power spike of Meowskarada come when he reaches level 7 so make sure to go in the jungle especially in the early game about the best moveset for Meowskarada it's definitely night slash and trial blades night slash will help you to penetrate through the defense of the pokemon and trial blades massively enhance your basic attack speed and damage and whenever you kill any pokemon using trial blades it get repressed again that is why whenever you kill any pokemon you can use this moveset simultaneously and if you are still confused whether you should buy Meowskarada Karada or not, without any doubt you should definitely buy Meow's Karada. She is totally worth for AOS coin. And here's the build for Meow's Karada. For the battle item always use eject button. And this is the boost emblem. You can take a screenshot if you want. That's it for today guys. And if this video was helpful for you please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.